here at Holy Name Cathedral in Chicago, and this is the Reconciliation Room, a place where we celebrate the Sacrament of Penance or the Sacrament of Reconciliation, uh, what many Catholics uh, call going to confession. And people have a, a choice. They can confess behind the screen, or there's a chair here and we can speak face to face. And in any case, what I'd like to do today is to share with you some thoughts about the sacrament, um, why we celebrate it, what are the different parts, and what does it mean. I'd like to begin to explain the sacrament of penance, uh, the sacrament of reconciliation, by raising a question that a lot of people have. Why do we confess our sins to a human being? Why do we bring our sins to a priest? Why can't we just deal directly with, with God? Well, there are a couple of things that are important. Um, first of all, the Lord Jesus entrusted this power of forgiveness to his church. In chapter 20 of John's Gospel, after the resurrection, Jesus appears to his disciples and says, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven them. And uh, the other element that's really important is that we have human need to articulate, to speak out what it is that we're sorry for. And we have a human need to hear with our ears those important words, you are forgiven, you are forgiven. Let me go quickly through the different parts. The first part of the sacrament is an examination of conscience. We do an honest inventory of our lives. We take a look at what we've done and what we've failed to do. And there are two great commandments, love God, love your neighbor. And, and we take a look, how have we loved God? By trusting, believing, praying, uh, observing the Lord's day, respecting God's name? And what about our neighbor? Uh, how have we dealt with other people? Have we been true and just and honest and compassionate? Or have we been caught up in our own worlds and our own selfishness? So an examination of conscience is essential, and it's not that difficult to do. And then we bring what we have found in ourselves that needs forgiveness and healing. We bring that to the sacrament and we confess our sins. And once the confession of sins takes place, then the priest asks us to do a penance. A penance is either a prayer or an action, something that's a sign both to God and to ourselves that we want to change, that we want to receive God's forgiveness. The last part of the celebration of the sacrament is the prayer of absolution. That's the prayer of forgiveness. And the heart of that prayer are these words, I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the priest speaks those words not in his own name, but in the name of Jesus. It is Jesus who absolves. It's Jesus who forgives. And that concludes the celebration of the sacrament, but a new chapter opens up now. Because once we leave that sacrament, we're called to live out what we have celebrated. Recall the words of the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We take that experience of forgiveness and now bring it out into the world. So this is the sacrament, the sacrament of forgiveness, sacrament of healing, the sacrament of transformation.